Hồng Phong I won't stop till I hear him say Landlords, let me talk to ya. We, we got to unpack some madness today, man. This is so wild. I had to bust out the Slumlord shirt, right? Which, by the way, if you want to buy it, click the notes below. HWTV10 for a 10% off discount code, right? Go ahead, use it. But man, oh, I do not like what I am seeing. This is bad on all fronts, right? Let's take a look. So your first thought might be like, whoa, what the heck is this, right? You got a tenant here who's jacking up the landlord's fridge, right? He's just screwing stuff up, okay? So your first thought might be like, oh, screw that tenant, horrible tenant. But folks, this ain't the Tenants from Hell show you're watching right now. No, this is the Landlords from Hell show. Sure, that tenant's a fucking asshole. Sure. I've had tenants who are fucking assholes just like that tenant, and it pisses me off just like I'm sure it pisses you off. But let's not miss the real story, folks. Let's not miss the real story. What's the real story? Why? Why is there a fucking camera in that tenant's kitchen? What in the name of holy hell 1984 Big, Big Brother madness is happening that the landlord has placed a security camera inside their tenant's home, folks. That is, that's a no, that's a no-gooder, right? And you might be like, that. Calm down, man. It's, it's probably the tenant's security camera. That's the tenant's camera. No, it's fucking not. You see, I found this footage today, okay? As many of you know, a lot of you probably, uh, you know, follow me on the various uh, websites out there. I'm very active in a lot of real estate groups, right? So I'm on this Facebook group for real estate investors, which, by the way, if you want to follow me on Facebook, it's James Wise, right? Obviously. And uh, so I'm on there, and the landlord posts this video. Let's take a look at it again, because, I mean, it is kind of a funny video. <laughs> So he's posting this video on there asking. He's like, hey, can I evict my tenant for this, right? And, you know, some of the people on there are like, oh, maybe, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm like, bro, whose fucking camera is this, right? And this is what he tells me, right? He's like, oh, yeah, he just admits that it's his camera and he got the tenant to agree to it, right? But hey, don't worry, folks. He's only going to spy on you in your living room, in your foyer, in your hallway, in your dining room. He's only listening to your dinner conversations with your wife, but he won't. He, he draws the line at uh, watching you sleep or watching you take a shit, right? Uh, if you got to scratch your nutsack uh, in the middle of the living room while you're watching a little Netflix, though, he's right there, Johnny on the spot looking at you, dude. This is so bad in so many ways, right? This guy, uh, this landlord, sell the house, bro. Being a landlord is not for you. You are not built for this business, dude. This is absolutely psychotic. This gives landlords a bad name. Investing in real estate is great, folks. It's made a lot of money. It's made a lot of money for me. It's made a lot of money for a lot of my clients. But not everyone is meant to be a real estate investor. And if you if you are thinking about becoming a real estate investor, you're thinking about becoming a landlord. You got to understand, tenants can be fucking assholes. If you don't believe me, check out the Tenants from Hell show we do here on Holton Wise TV, dude. We show you the worst of the worst, live evictions caught on tape, uh, tenants doing things to houses that make what this dumb motherfucker did to that fridge look like child's play, okay? That's part of the business. You have to accept that. But if you are a person who is so worried about the minute details, so paranoid that you can't imagine the notion of renting your property to a tenant without being able to peer into, into their life, peer into their life on a daily basis by having 24-7 camera footage of the inside of their home. You are a fucking psychotic slumlord maniac. You do not belong in this business. Sell your house. Get out of real estate. It's not for you. You're probably going to go through an eviction one day and have a fucking heart attack because you can't handle the stressors of this business. 
Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, folks. Yeah, sure, I get it. The tenant's a fucking asshole. I agree. Fuck that tenant. But two things can be true at once. The tenant can be a fucking asshole, but that does not excuse the insanity that this landlord is doing. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.